Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Itchy Soul Live. Now, this is a brand new season on the podcast and here at live on the Facebook page, 2 p.m. most weekdays. I want to say every weekdays, but some days it's just not going to happen. However, if you've joined us yesterday for the first ever episode, thank you. If you're back for a second edition, thank you so much. Incidentally, if you are listening to this after the event on the podcast and you ever want to come along and and play live, you can do that on the Facebook page at 2pm. It's facebook.com forward slash itchy soul playground. That's my quick announcement out of the way. Now, today's episode is especially for those days when you just don't want to. Because right now, yes, I have a smile on my face because I'm energized by being here with you. However, my arms hurt and I'm tired and it's one of those days when I would quite happily go and sit in the garden and quite candidly after I've done this with you I am going to go and sit in the garden because that's the reality of the season that we're, that we're in right now you're going to have days where you're full of energy and you're going to have days where you just don't want to so my reminder for you today is this if you're having that kind of day where you just it sort of feels like you're trudging through treacle I want to encourage you to to pay attention to your body. We're told in Ecclesiastes there's a time for everything. And that is never more true and never feels more true than it does right, right now. So be encouraged by the fact that you are not alone. If you're having one of those days that's, there's no other words for it, just, (laughs) <laughs> if you're having one of those days, please know that you're not alone. The other piece to bear in mind as well, of course, is that the contrast to that, you're going to have days where you're bursting with energy. Like yesterday was a great day. I mean, today doesn't feel like a terrible day. I'm just tired. But yesterday felt like a great day and I did all of the things and I was really excited. So in one sense, I shouldn't really be surprised that today I'm feeling a little bit more tired. Nothing to do with the fact that I spent an hour doing upper body lifting stuff with my friends via Zoom. No, nothing to do with that at all. No, everything to do with that. (laughs) But, you know, we do, our bodies move in ebbs and flows. And so you are going to have times where you have more energy. You are going to have times when you just need to, to relax a little bit. And that's true all of the time. But this particular season, it's really important to remember just to to go with that a little bit. I do have a quick housekeeping announcement for you as well. I did try and promote this on Facebook via ads, but Facebook ads, they are working for me, but they don't particularly, for some reason, Facebook doesn't want me to to advertise my UEA goal setting book. So instead, every now and again, I'm going to mention it in these episodes and The reason being that a couple of days ago, God had me rework, revisit, update it, make it available on iBooks and Kobo in addition to Amazon. And so it's all available now. And I've got a link. I'm going to pop it up here for you so you can see it. Itchysoul.co forward slash books is where you can get that. And you can get copies. The ebook is free for all of those different versions. So uh, Kindle, uh, Kobo and iBooks. The reason why it's on Kobo, quite honestly, is for my friend Cher. I don't know if she'll see this. If you see this, Cher... Hello, Cher, if you listen to it, Um, because she is literally the first person I've ever met who reads her books on Kobo. And it was easy. I was already signed up. So I thought, well, why not? Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this right now is because this idea of ebbs and flows, it is we address this in the book. So it starts off. Okay, I should rewind slightly. If you watched the video last week or listened to any of the content last week, you will have heard me reminding you that although this season is a little bit uncertain and we're not really sure and things are different, I still do believe that God is calling us to a new a new season of opportunity. And there are you're going to have time potentially to, to, to scratch at those itches, those things that niggle at you. And the reason, therefore, that I want to, I'm really keen to get you a goal setting out there into for, for as many people as possible is because actually that is exactly what the book is focused on. We start by looking at the big picture, your perfect ordinary day, and then honing in and honing in. And actually, right at the very end, we then go into weekly and day-to-day planning. So this ties in with this idea of ebbs and flows. Because, yes, you are going to have days where you're full of energy and ready to do all of the things. And then you're going to have days where you just want to kick back and do nothing. But you can plan for that and allow for that. And so, like, I gave you the example of myself today. Today, I'm after I've shared this with you, I'm going to be going outside in the garden. I can hear already my husband is cutting the grass. I have volunteered to do a little bit. Once he's tired and wants a bit of a rest, I'm going to finish up. And then I'm going to go sit out in the garden. I'm going to read a book in the sunshine. And that is that is the sum total of what I'm going to do today. Tomorrow, however, I, as a result of resting today, I'll have more energy. And I can go out there and record the audiobook version, do these things. 
But that's the beauty of allowing yourself to, to listen to your body, plan your week and your days and day-to-day and -day stuff with God. So that's the reason why I mention uh, Uriah goal setting, because it ties into that. And for whatever reason, Facebook isn't letting me advertise it. For It keeps getting flagged up. It says, you cannot promote this because it, it's, um, how do they call it? Misleading. I'm like, it's not misleading. It's free. Like, it's really beneficial. So I don't know what's going on there, what that's about. Uh, but that's why I'm mentioning it now instead. And I will continue to mention it and I make no apologies for that. Because the people who I've spoken to who've read it and actually put it into action, they found it really useful. And so, and, and it's literally the same system that I use myself. It's the way that I got five no, uh, full-length fiction novels written in 2015 and 2016. And I should add as a note as well. Now, you've heard me say before, one size does not fit all. And I stand by that. And at the same time, the system I lay out for you in the book, it allows for you to be you. Yes, I have got some suggestions on how you do stuff, but there's also the option of how you can tweak and adjust as you go. So please don't think, of, oh, well, Elle, I don't, I don't like to do it that way. That's cool. We can play with it. It's all good. Which is another quick reminder as well. If you're somebody who knows that you do this stuff better in community, this does feel like an appropriate time to mention the Itchy Soul Playground. Itchysoul.co forward slash or forward slash whichever way it goes. <laughs> Join. You can join for as little as a pound a month. God told me to make it pay what you want. And so there's no reason at this time or any time for you to feel unsupported. Come and join us. It's there for you to, to work out and with God. Like, what am I doing next, God? That's, the, that's the, the focus of it, really, is working out who you are, the person that God created you to be, and those things that are niggling at you. And it's so much more fun in community, hence why we have the Itchy Soul Playground. But my biggest takeaway, and this is going to be shorter than yesterday's episode by a long bit, for the reasons I've already told you, I'm ready to go and sit outside in the sunshine. <laughs> but the biggest reminder I have for you today is that reminder to pay attention to your energy levels. And if you're having a day where you just need to kick back a little bit, do that. I would maintain that that's really good advice regardless of the season, but that's especially important right now. It's in, you know, our mental health. I've, I've two big things that God has laid on my heart for this season. And I apologize to those people who've heard me say this before, but thing number one is the mental health aspect. I'll rip over my words then. The mental health aspect. This, this high level of angst that a lot of, peeling, a lot of people are feeling right now it's really bad for you. It's not, you know, long-term stress is not good. So the more that we can pay attention to our energy levels and actually look after our mental health, go outside in the fresh air, read books that you enjoy, that's going to be really beneficial to you. So if you're having a day where you need to just step back a little bit, take this as your reminder and your encouragement to do so. The other thing that God has laid on my heart then is the piece I've already alluded to, that this is a season of opportunity. There are books that are going to be birthed. There's going to be innovation, inventions, creativity. On a really good day, I'm so excited about that stuff. Not that I'm not excited the rest of the time, but the rest of the time I just want to sit there and sleep. <laughs> but it's true though. The sleeping bit is true, but the innovation piece is true. Those things that niggle at you, that's God calling to you to do that stuff. Now, I've had a real experience over the years where I've, okay, okay, I'm fed up of trying to do this. It's not working, putting it to one side. And then God keeps bringing it back up. And so eight years later, we have the Itchy Soul Playground. The Itchy Soul Playground as it is today is the result of eight years approximately of niggles and going around in circles until finally God goes like, this is the way we're going to do this thing. So the stuff that I share with you, know that I, you know, what's that expression? Walk my talk. I think that's the expression I'm looking for. I, I am on that journey with you. So those, those are the two things that God has laid on my heart for this particular season. But the big reminder today is the mental health part of it. You don't have to be like, push, 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 push all of the time. So if you're having a day where you need to pull back a little bit, do it and know that it's not just you. I'm having that day very candidly today. Anyway, thank you for those people who joined me live. There's one or two people I saw, not, not in the comments, but you, um, I could see you like hearts and stuff. So thank you for that. It's very kind. If you do come back and catch this up on the replay, then, and you've got any questions or any comments, pop them in there and I, I'll come back to them. And finally, for our podcast listeners, thank you for joining us. A reminder for the podcast listeners, we're going to be doing this about 2 p.m. most weekdays over on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash itchy soul playground. But in the meantime, that's me trying to find the button. There we go. <laughs> 
podcast listeners miss this, right? Every single time I try to be really subtle about ending it neatly and, and properly, and I fail quite often, but I have got it ready to go this time. Thank you for being here. I look forward to catching up with you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.